Hey everybody, welcome back to Bob Key TV. Time once again for the Fortune Cookie Chronicles. Um, had a fortune cookie last night from the industrial size bag that I bought <laughs> recently. Uh, I was asked in the comments section, and which by the way, just go below, you can feel free to comment. Um, I was asked to share the lucky numbers on the back of the fortune also. So here's your lucky numbers, 2, 15, 46, 3, 12, and 25. All right, here's the fortune for today. You will take a chance in something in the future, <laughs> which is a perfect fortune when you're a cyclist and uh, you're not a climber, you're not a time trialist, you're not a sprinter, you still want to win or be successful or show off to your friends. The right moment, picking the right moment to go in the breakaway. We see this every single stage, every race throughout the season, uh, the motivation of riders to go in the breakaway, why are they doing that when 95% of the time they lose? <laughs> and uh, it seems like every single breakaway is a suicide mission. You're gonna get caught. Um, but every once in a while, the breakaway succeeds and that rider, whoever wins, is a hero for life. And it's a great part of bike racing. Um, a, the typical scenario, and you can increase your chances of being in a successful breakaway by being clever, by being tactically astute, uh, and saving your energy throughout the three weeks of a Grand Tour or throughout a one-week race or uh, throughout your training block. You can be tactically um, uh, astute enough to increase your chances of finding the breakaway that will succeed. And even on club rides and training rides with your friends, you can, as long as you start to learn the characteristics of the riders and the topography of the ride that you're doing, you can calculate your attacks <laughs> to be more successful. Um, and the right moment though, the right moment, you have to be, you have to have identified the days that you think a breakaway is more likely to succeed. You still might get caught before the finish, but if you've saved your energy, and some riders are very clever at this, and they are able to identify the days that the breakaway will succeed, they go in the break, they save their energy throughout the race to have enough energy to get in the break that day. Then while they're in the break, they try to do as little work as possible. Uh, they're all in for that day, and the riders that can do that more than once are some of the best professionals racing today. You can replicate that in your training ride by being uh, clever tactically. Uh, if you go on a breakaway, let's say on your club ride with uh, three or four guys um, that always go early and always get caught, <laughs> you're probably going to get caught also. So if, if, you notice that the strongest, more proficient riders are always in the front at the end of your club rides. Maybe wait until they attack and then try to go with them. And if you go with them and you last for a mile the first time, try to last for two miles the next time, three miles, and then eventually all the way to the finish. So always be thinking about what your motivation is, what your tactics are, what you'd like to achieve and think to yourself, what is everybody else thinking? What are their motivations? And I will give you a tip. Never believe <laughs> a word that a cyclist says about how they're feeling or what their fitness is or what their motivation is or what their plan is for the day. Because when it's crunch time, all of that information, you will find out have been pure lies. <laughs> so have your agenda, be clever, enjoy your rides. And if you're a professional cyclist, mark my words, look at the results of the state race and then who wins. And you'll see a lot of times the same names coming up again and again and again. A lot of that is physical talent, but there is one thing you can always improve on, tactical sensibility. 
Wait for the big stars that win from the breakaway to go and try to find your way in there. All right, everybody, that's the Fortune Cookie Chronicle for today. You can click on my face to subscribe. You can click on the t-shirt icon to order some merchandise. Comments, like I said, down below. Thumbs up, greatly appreciated. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Until next time, the Fortune Cookie Chronicles are turning out to be really fun, and I hope to continue to share them uh, in the weeks to come. Thanks a lot, everybody.